Hey Siri, are you listening to me? I'm listening. Turns out a lot of things are listening. Devices answer to Hey Siri, Hey Google, and Hey Alexa because they pick up on key words. They're able to do so only because they listen to everything. The fact is it must be listening to be able to focus on a key word. If it's not listening, it does not have the ability to hear the key word. Matthew Curtin of Interhack says listening devices are ubiquitous, whether we realize it or not. That includes things like apps, tablets, even facial recognition technology in public places. The issue is that we have microphones and cameras now embedded into things that we have not historically thought of as listening devices or watching devices. That recently got the home security company Nest in trouble after a customer found a microphone hidden in a device. Nowhere on the packaging or materials did it say a microphone was included. But even if Nest was listening, what's the big deal? I don't think that it's necessarily the companies that we need to worry about. What about the bad guys that break into the devices, the bad guys that break into the companies? What about the government that decides that they want to seize data that's been captured by a third party? To find out just how much information is being gathered and stored, Matt and I did a little experiment. We're going to talk about duvet covers. Okay. We're going to pick something innocuous that people sell online. And in the next two days, I'm going to see if how do I turn my microphone? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we did. For five minutes, we discussed duvet covers, talking about wanting to buy one, where to find one, etc. The result? In one morning, okay. I got four ads for bedding, three ads for home improvement, and two ads for room redecorating. If Big Brother gives you big paws, there is a way to protect yourself. Just say no. <laughs> to keep apps from listening to you, you can go to settings on your device, go to privacy, select camera or microphone, and simply turn them off for each app. But it does come at a cost. Turning off your camera and microphone might mean giving up your favorite Snapchat filters. Curtin says it's a small price to pay for privacy. For Spectrum News, I'm Molly Martinez.